And of course, it's going to be a sloppy game. Look at the forecast during the game. Yeah, windy and we could get some of that diagonal rain up there. 38 degrees at kickoff after the game. Could even see a little bit of sleep mixing in as the temps drop to around 35. If you're sticking around here for southeastern Wisconsin, we may be talking about the potentially wettest Thanksgiving on record here in Milwaukee. The record so far is back in 1968 where they had just under an inch here in Milwaukee. Here's how much additional rainfall we're expecting about an inch. Inch. So it's going to be kind of a thing you have to watch how much rain we get in the bucket before midnight to officially cut it off. But we've been looking at rain just coming down, especially in Milwaukee County, where it's been raining the heaviest just in the last half hour or so from Glendale down through Franklin, New Berlin, getting in and some of this action right in Milwaukee proper as well. This is all part of a huge cold front that on the backside is bringing some freezing rain through portions of Iowa down through Nebraska and even yeah, a little snow up in the north. Taking you through the rest of your evening, though, still raining at 8 o'clock. Still raining at 11 o'clock, so going home from grandma's, you're going to need the umbrella and the wipers will be getting definitely a workout. Tomorrow morning could see a few flakes, maybe even some sleep mix in, mainly north uh, and to the west, but not expecting much in terms of accumulation. Then just cloudy, foggy, and windy throughout your Friday. It's going to be much colder as well. Getting into the weekend, though, high pressure comes in. That will calm the winds down and bring the sunshine back into the forecast, but it is going to be kind of nasty throughout the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow morning. 35, you're over night low in Milwaukee, 32 away from Lake Michigan. So fog in addition to the rain. And if you're going to be going out late for the Black Friday deals at midnight, 42 with rain showers likely. The winds continue to ramp on up right around 4 a.m., 38 degrees. Rain could see some snow mixing in in the northwest. Then at 8 o'clock, 37 degrees with rain showers and some of that precip starting to exit. By noon, I think we will be dry. 36 degrees, cloudy and windy, though, is going to be the story for your Friday forecast with a high of only 30 37 degrees, so 50s down to the 30s in just a day. We could be looking at winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour as well. Then we get to the weekend though and things calm down. 38 degrees on Saturday will still be cool, but not going to be as windy. Lots of sunshine both Saturday and Sunday with a high of 41 on Sunday. That's your pick day out of the weekend. Monday, the cloud cover will be increasing in addition to the temps, but rain showers develop as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, changing over to a little bit of a mix as we start December 1st with a little bit of a mix changing to some snow by Wednesday.